Hi, everybody. I'm Blaine Gilmer, and welcome to a, another episode of Recruiting Every Second, the SEC football recruiting show on the Believe Podcast Network. So excited that everyone has joined us. Whatever way you may be listening, whether it's on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, however you're watching or listening to this podcast, we truly appreciate it. And as we always do, we try to bring the prospects on here that are really starting to make headway in recruiting that are catching the attention of a lot of coaching staffs out there. And we certainly have one of those with us this evening and going to bring on Mr. Grant Godfrey right now. Grant, thank you so much for joining the show. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So let's get right into it. You know, uh, 2023 outside linebacker, North Gwinnett High School, uh, has produced some great talent. You know, Barrett Carter, who just signed with Clemson last year, one of the top recruits in the entire country. Um, first off, before we even get into your family background and, and all that kind of stuff, what's it been like being a guy growing up in that North Gwinnett system over there where a lot of, you know, high-profile college prospects and stuff come out of, learning behind a guy like Barrett Carter? What's that been like for you so far in your high school experience? So me and Barrett have been friends for like 10 years. And so me and him always went to the same trainers. And so we go to the same trainers and uh, we work hard over here, you know. And then uh, Coach Stewart moved in about four or five years ago. And he Great coach. On another level. Yes, sir. Yeah. Great coach. Uh, so I think we were talking beforehand. You guys finished seven and four, went to the second round of the playoffs last year. Uh, I think you mentioned that things are things are looking even better coming up here in this uh, in in this next year for North Gwinnett. Are they not? You want to preview a little bit what this next year is going to look like for North Gwinnett? Yes, sir. So our offense, we have two D one running backs and a great quarterback in Ethan Washington. Uh, he can run and throw the ball. And our defense, you know, our it starts with our. Front seven, Caden, McDonald, Jonathan Ham, Tyler Walton, me, Jace Anderson. We're a very good front seven. I think we're one of the best in the state. And our DBs are very solid back there. They're all fresh, fresh DBs, and they're ready to play. Yeah, and, man, in, in the 2022 and 2023 class alone, a lot of these guys that you see on Twitter all the time and, and in the on 24-7 sports, rivals, all this kind of stuff, a lot of the talent is being recruited not just by SEC schools but around the country is coming out of the state of Georgia in those couple of classes. Just how amazing is it to be kind of part of a group, whether it's guys over at Grayson like Michael Daugherty in your class, you got Caleb Downs over at Mill Creek. There's so many talented players right there in the Gwinnett County area and in 7A football in Georgia. What's it like just every Friday night going up against several D1 prospects? It's always fun to compete. You know, last year going against Cody Brown, one of the best running backs to come through Georgia, it was always fun to compete. You know, you make new friends through this recruiting process and maybe you can go on some uh, visits together, you know, and have some fun with each other. So as you learn more about those other guys and they're sharing the same experience as you are going to camps, getting offers by the same schools you are, how often are you guys like comparing notes, you know, talking about, well, this is what this program is, is uh, telling me or selling me on, or this is what this coach is saying. I mean, how, how often are you guys in communication with all that kind of stuff? I mean, you know, um, I've had a very long friendship with, you know, uh, Dale Martin, who's at Marietta. He went to North Gwinnett and, you know, I've known Kayla for a little while. And, you know, me and Caden talk to each other every day about, you know, the colleges that we're talking to and what they're telling them and how we're going to work out some camps and stuff and what the colleges want want them to see this year. Absolutely. And uh, reminding everybody, this is Recruiting Every Second, the SEC football recruiting podcast. We have Grant Godfrey uh, out of North Gwinnett. He is a outside linebacker. Grant, you have an offer from the University of Kentucky. And in addition to that, also TCU, Georgia Tech, uh, Virginia. So, but we'll focus on that Kentucky offer for right now. You know, got it here recently. What was it like uh, getting a call from, your, you know, your first SEC offer from a school like Kentucky? Um, I saw a coach, Anwar Stewart, two years ago 
my freshman year when I was here ta- um, working with the varsity team, and he he talked to me, and we had a we built a pretty good bond, and you know he called me at uh, last week and told me he'd been talking to Coach Stewart because they're really good friends, and they've offered me because you know they were uh, Barrett and Jordan's first offers also, and so they wanted to offer me really early and build a good relationship with me. And so they and they Kentucky made it pretty well into the into the deeper part of Barrett's recruitment. So he must have had a pretty good relationship with Kentucky. Yes, sir. So when you when you were talking to Kentucky, I'm sure one of the things that they sold you on and started to to tell you about with their program is Kentucky. There's actually I was talking to um, a guest on my show the other day, and he mentioned that. Kentucky, there's only seven other programs in the country that have put more NFL players in the last few NFL drafts than the University of Kentucky. Kentucky is pumping out pro players. Is that something that they kind of pitched to you and talked to you about early on here? Yes, sir. They had a lot of draft picks this year. I think they had six draft picks this year, and so that's a lot of talent coming from Kentucky, and that's really impressed me a lot. And, you know, Coach, Coach Stewart just talks about – the great defense they have up there and you know they have a great talent absolutely with coach stoops that's one of the better coach defenses in the sec year in and year out do a lot of good stuff also uh for those of you that that don't know grant is a uh a legacy not only of the sec but an nfl legacy as well as that randall godfrey played for the georgia bulldogs from 1992 to 1995 then went on to play 12 years in the national football league grant before we get into the specifics of that and you know having having a a dad who you know did certain things ahead of you um you know just what's it been like growing up uh knowing okay this is what my this is what my dad did in the college level and pro level and how's that kind of influenced you throughout you know your game growing up it's influenced me a lot you know uh, me and my dad are very very close we we love to watch football together and we love to just go watch his old games and talk about what he should have done on certain plays. And we love to sit down and watch the film over and over again. And it's really, really fun sitting down and going to all these college football games with them and just talking about football. Absolutely. You were there with him, I believe, when he got inducted into the Georgia Florida Hall of Fame back in 2017. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I'm sure two schools that you would love to. Uh, you know, and probably will end up getting offers from here before too long. Uh, what was it like just kind of seeing, okay, here's here's your dad getting inducted into a, a Hall of Fame of one of the most storied rivalries in college football? It was a great experience, you know, just boosting me to work hard and train as hard as I can so maybe one day I can be inducted into a Hall of Fame type game like that. Yeah, fantastic, man. So, you know, with that being said, I think uh, you you mentioned that, you mentioned to me before we came on air here that you have a workout coming up, maybe a seven on seven camp, something like that, where you're going to get to uh, maybe work out for Georgia, the the program that your dad played at. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So on June the, it's sometime in J- June. Those days get mixed up between the eighth and the tenth. There's a They're lot of workouts up at Georgia. Yeah, and Coach uh, Schumann invited me down there to give him a good. Uh, run through of some uh, linebacker drills and he wanted to speak to me and then on the 16th I'll be at Georgia Tech doing the same thing there just work out some drills and talk to the coaches there absolutely and I know and I know that we're uh, here on recruiting every second we kind of focus on uh, SEC recruiting too but I do want to talk a little bit about Georgia Tech because that does does seem to be a program that's really uh, ramped up their recruiting You know, under Coach Collins, I know that you spoke with Coach Thacker. Um, That does have a direct impact on SEC schools because Georgia Tech's trying to pull from the same pool of talent. So, you know, what was it like talking to Coach Thacker and and getting that offer early on? And and that, what do you, what are you kind of your thoughts on that Georgia Tech program? Um, I actually love Georgia Tech, the Georgia Tech program, because, you know, my longtime friend, ever since I moved to Georgia, um, Jerry Ivey, he, he uh, went to Georgia Tech, too. And me and him have been talking a lot about Georgia Tech, and Coach Thacker is a very, very good coach. Um, I would love to go visit Georgia Tech for sure and build a good relationship with Georgia Tech. So, 
don't let your dad hear that too close to you. And I mean, I'm sure he may, he may be he may be in the next room or something. You we don't need a, a Georgia Bulldog here, and you talk about Georgia. Tech. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just kidding, man. He, I'm sure he'd be just just fine if he'd wear the he'd wear the gold yes, and blue sir. for you. If you ended up going down there, huh? Yes, sir. Absolutely. So, you know, just going forward, man. A uh, lot you're early on in this process. But I did want to talk to you about what are some things that are going to be most important to you. You got this summer where you're finally getting to get out of the COVID mode and go visit places and go see places, stuff like that. But what are you going to be looking for as a player, as a student, as a person going through this recruitment process? Um, I've got a lot of college invites, you know, to camps. And I'm just trying to get bigger in this offseason, bigger, faster, and stronger. Um, I've been doing a lot of training and footwork stuff so i can work on my covering also so so i can play a little bit hybrid and um this summer i'm gonna be i'm gonna try to shoot up and gain about 10 pounds and you know go visit and maybe go to some camps this summer absolutely anything in particular that you know some guys know from an early age hey here's what i want to study one day or anything like that anything you know outside of football that that you want to focus on when you get to college? Um, I don't really have my goals set right now for what I'm going to study in college, but I will, I'll, I would love to be a coach when I'm done playing football. Absolutely. You know, coach at the collegiate level or in the NFL or even at high school. So it isn't. Absolutely. So don't want to, don't want football to be done when the playing days are over. This has been Grant Godfrey joining us here on the Recruiting Every Second podcast here on the Believe Podcast Network. Grant, man, thank you so much for coming on just to detail a little bit about your recruitment, that offer from Kentucky. I'm sure that relationship is going to be at the bill. Before we let you go, are you going to try to get up to Kentucky this summer? Yes, sir, I am. You got a date set for that one? Um, Not yet. I have a figure out the schedule between my practices i have in june so no no doubt and june's gonna be crazy for everybody with the, mm-hmm. the COVID restrictions being gone now it's just like full you know scale everybody running to get to the college campuses so i'm sure yes, they're all messed up but uh anyways guys that is grant godfrey from north gwinnett and thank you so much for joining us here on the recruiting every second podcast you can follow us using at recruiting underscore sec follow grant using at Grant Godfrey 3 on Twitter, and we'll catch you next time.